Hello guys, greetings to all. Today, I'll be introducing you with the topic percentage. The word percent means per stands for each and cent stands for hundred. Percentage is useful in many daily applications such as grading, shopping, etc. I am pretty sure you must all must have experienced this that your mothers go to a mall and say there's 20% off on that thing. But the math is done by the shopkeeper, not by you. So today, I'm going to be teaching you how to do that math. Let's dive in. Today, I'll be covering three topics. Increasing percentage, decreasing percentage, and using a multiplier. First, increasing percentage. So, the percent of the originals will go on the top, and the originals will go at the bottom. Then we'll multiply them by 100, and we'll get a final answer. This is the tradition method. And topic two. Decreasing percentage. The same thing will apply as mentioned above. Topic 3. Using a multiplier. For example, $275 is increased by 65%. So, 100 plus 65, that comes to a total of 165. Then, the, we'll divide that. We'll come up to 1.65. Then, we'll multiply 1.65 by 275. That adds up to... $453.73. Isn't it much more convenient? Now for each field, I'll be introducing one mathematical problem. We'll start off by increasing percentage. 15 upon 30 into 100. 0 and 0 will be cut. 15 into 10 is 150. And we'll divide that by 3. That leaves us by 50. Our answer is 50, okay? Then, decrease in percentage. 20 upon 80 into 100. Same, 0 and 0 will be cut. 20 into 10 is 200. 200, and di 200 divided by 8 is 25. Now, we will minus 80 minus 25. That is 55. So, after a decrease of 20% from 80, we are left with 55. Now, we will use the most convenient way using a multiplier. 500 increase by 10. So, 100 plus 10 is equals to 110 divided by 100 is equals to 1.1. Now we we'll multiply 1.1 into 500. That is 550. Thank you so much for your time and attention.